Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forestry 425, uh, Forest Management Applications in GIS. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jeff Janess. I'm an adjunct professor here at NAU School of Forestry, and I specialize in GIS. I also work a few other places. I work at the Museum of Northern Arizona as a GIS analyst, and I have my own business writing tools for people. Now, I just love working with GIS, and I really hope that I can make it fun for you as well. I think that maps are just wonderful things, and GIS is just one more way that you can use to explore the landscape. Now, in this class, I'm assuming that you don't have a lot of exposure to GIS, if any at all. And the problem with uh, the software we're learning is it does have a pretty steep learning curve. and that's, So I want to help you climb that. But once you are comfortable with it, I think you'll really have a good time with this. GIS really can be a lot of fun once you learn the, these basics. Now, we're going to cover a lot of basic topics, and we have a few optional ones that you can try out if you're interested in. Uh, if there is some topic that you'd really like to know more about and I haven't covered it, you know, let me know. We can discuss. Maybe I can help you figure it out and learn it on your own. Now, let me give you a quick rundown on how the class is organized. And as you know, it's on BB Learn. You, you must know that or you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, this class is going to be an asynchronous class, meaning we're not going to meet at a particular scheduled time. I figure you guys have lives that are, are pretty busy, and it, it'd just be kind of a waste of time trying to force everybody to meet at a particular time. So you're going to be doing this pretty self-paced, but I will be available when you have questions. Um, I may be spending a little bit of time doing other jobs, but I will always have my phone on me and ready to talk. So please contact me immediately if you have questions or are getting confused on any point. Now within BB Learn, we have the, the various lessons uh, organized into folders. So here are the folders that you're going to be working through. Within each folder, you'll see videos that uh, are basically my lectures just recorded. I also have the lectures in PowerPoint and PDF format, if you like. Uh, these might be helpful to refer to, a little bit easier than trying to find a spot in the video. And another important thing is the lecture notes and labs. This is a Word document. Now what I'd like you to notice in this Word document that has the lecture and lab notes, first off there's two sections to it. And in fact there's several little headings. If, if, you are, if it helps you, I like to use this thing called a navigation pane with these documents. It kind of helped me find my way around. So the navigation tab, you see uh, different parts of this document. You, you, the important thing to know is that the first several pages are a slide-by-slide -slide walkthrough. So you can go through the PowerPoint or the PDF. These are the notes that I want you to know that I would be telling you is, is for each slide. So uh, if you need to look up any particular slide and know what it is, you're curious what I'm talking about, just look in this document, slide 18, here's what I want you to know. Pretty straightforward. So this is the, the uh, lecture. But then keep on going down and you get to the lab exercises. Now the lab exercises are a critical part of this class. This is where you really learn. Uh, these exercises will walk you through activities that you will do often uh, in, a, in your career in GIS. Uh, the lab exercises, you don't turn these in, but these are for you to learn from. Now there's a few cases where the homework questions are drawn from the lab, and in that case it'll say it up at the beginning of the exercise that, that uh, re pay attention because there's homework questions in here. But otherwise you don't have to turn in the lab exercises. But the lab exercises will walk you through step by step with lots of illustrations explaining exactly how to do each step and telling you what I, what I want you to learn from each thing. All right, so work through those. Um, they're they're going to take a bit of time, but you're going to learn a lot from them. That, like I said, this is where the real learning happens. Okay, so that's the lecture notes. We've, we've gone over the lecture in PowerPoint, PDF, and lecture notes. Then there's a homework document. Uh, you gotta download this as well. And this is what you'll be graded on. 
So you'll fill this homework out, name three things you can do with the GIS you can't do with the paper map. Easy question. Just zip through all these things. Uh, there's a few cases where you're going to, in a lab exercise, you will have created some maps, and so you'll have to get ready to turn those in. And at the end, this tells you what you have to submit. So, so yeah, just, just go ahead and submit it. There's also due dates. Um, I want to be clear on these things. Uh, I'm, I'm not all that concerned about due dates. I give you these due dates mainly as a way to help keep you guys structured and on track. Uh, but I know you guys have things going on, and if you're able to get it in early, that's great. If you can't get it in on time, as long as you get it in, that's fine. I'm not going to grade you down for turning it in late. I want you to learn the stuff rather than kill yourself trying to get it in on a particular date. So, you know, try and try and take this as easy as you can. This ArcGIS is hard enough to learn anyway, so uh, I want this to be as friendly as we can make it. Uh, okay, um, and once you finish the homework, there is a button here to click to submit homework. So you just click that. Uh, you'll come down here and you, you just drag your homework document into this little section here and it'll get submitted. And uh, I'll get a little message that said it's there and ready to be graded and so I'll go ahead and grade it and get back to you. Now if you make mistakes, I will let you know what, what you did wrong and I will uh, try and give you a clue about how to do it right. And then you can just keep redoing it as many times as you want until you get the grade that you're satisfied with. So keep that in mind. All right, so uh, close that. So that's how it's going to work. You just do all these homeworks. At the end, you're going to do a final project, which is not really that hard. It's just kind of using all the skills you learned in the different lessons and kind of make a map of something you think is cool. I think the final project is one of the easiest things in the class, so it ought to be fun. Okay, one last thing I'd really like to uh, clarify. Um, in many cases, I want you to turn in a few things and I need you to zip them. I need you to compress them into a single file. So I want you to know how to do that. If you have 7-Zip installed, this is a really nice free software. That's probably one of the best ones. You just right click on it and you go to 7-Zip, and then you do Add to Archive, and uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just give it a name and hit OK, and it, it zips it into a single file. If you don't have 7-Zip, then what you can do is uh, right-click on it, go to Send To, and then Compressed Zip Folder. This will also create a zip file. All right, so now we have this zip file, and this is the thing you will turn in. So I just want you to know how to do that. Uh, this is also explained in all the homework documents. There's, there's, uh, there's appendices at the end of each homework document that will illustrate these things. So this is a real important skill to know how to do. All right, well, thanks so much, everybody. I'm looking forward to meeting you all, and uh, I'm looking forward to discussing questions as you have them, and let's keep in touch. Thanks so much.